Hi, everybody. Martin Patella here for Life Enthusiast Podcast, Radio, Internet Network, coming to you with Spencer Feldman, the Chief Product Developer and CEO at Remedy Link. Spencer, I would like to talk to you about this wonderful product that you made called Nervidine. Mm -hmm. Would you be so wonderful and explain what it's about? What does it do? Sure. So, um, you know, I'm in the detox world. And one of the first um, things I remember seeing was the video from University of Calgary. And I guess you can put that up on your, on your screen. The one with the green background that shows the mercury vaporizing off a tooth, a filling, and then under a microscope, dissolving the myelin sheath right off a nerve. I remember this video very well. That was the one video that showed me what was going on in my body. I had 12 mercury fillings put oh. in my face when I was 25. And I tell you, within two years, I was a wreck. And within yeah. five years, I was really badly off. And anyway, so my story is well known here at Life Enthusiast. Uh, it is indeed my journey from okay to terrible to back to sort of okay is a journey of dealing with mercury. So yeah, yeah. I wish I had met you back in 1981 when it hit me. Well, when I was in high school. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, mercury is a huge problem and you know, it's, it mimics sodium. So it blocks up the sodium channels so the potassium pumps and it melts the nerve, it melts the myelin right off the nerve. And so, you know, even if we detoxify it with EDTA and DMSA and alpha-lipoic acid, we're still left with this damage to the nerve. And so I was thinking, well, okay, how, how do you recover nerves if they're very slow to heal? Well, specifically, what can I do for the myelin sheath? And if you look at babies, if you study myelin, myelination process, you'll find that babies are not born with completely myelinated nerves. Uh, and it is something that they uh, develop uh, as they're getting older. What happens is the breast milk of the mother, and this is why it's really important to breastfeed children, uh, is it contains nervonic acid, something that if you are a milk formula manufacturer in this world, please add nervonic acid to your milk formula. Please do that. Spencer, can this thing be bought as nervonic acid as an ingredient in a um, chemist, chemical catalog company? No, it's almost impossible to find this stuff. Nervonic acid is made um, by breast milk, and that is what is the, the raw material to uh, uh, build the, the myelin sheet. Uh, I did source uh, some nervonic acid. We put it in the Nervidine product, uh, along with a few other things. So I'm, I'm taking it personally as a nutritional supplement. And, you know, I'm not making any claims for it, other than if you understand what nervonic acid does and you want to try some, uh, you know, like all of our products, they're for research purposes. Yeah. So if you want to try some nervonic acid to see what it will do for you, uh, we uh, believe you carry um, our Nervidine product, which is uh, uh, one third nervonic acid by weight, I believe. Yeah. Well, we are always allowed to make structure and function claims. The structure is there's nerv Nervidine in it, and function is it helps the body rebuild their sheaths, sheaths around the nerves. And nervonic acid may do some amazing things. Uh, you know, a long time ago, they used to go for, I think, um, shark liver oil and um, some other things uh, that were high in nervonic acid, but they're hard to get now. But there is a, um, a maple tree in Asia, the purple blow maple tree, I believe, that for some reason, um, that's all fit to put nervonic acid <laughs> into, into, the, into its nuts, into its seeds, its acorns. Uh, and so uh, you, can, you can get it from there. Great. Okay, so other than nervonic acid, what did you put in there? Uh, there's a little bit of lion's mane. Lion's mane is a TH1 stimulant. Uh, and people who have MS are already probably TH1 dominant. So... Uh, they need an antidote. 
Right. Um, so once I understood this, uh, the next batch of nervodyne has something to counter that. But if you uh, get nervodyne now and you happen to be working with that particular challenge, if it's the current batch uh, that's already been made, uh, there's a note on the website that says, please go and take some uh, turmeric or, uh, to uh, push back towards TH2. Right on. Yeah, if you go up on the internet, there's a, there are articles that explain the TH1, TH2. Uh, these are the two different branches of the immune system. One is the humor, humoral and the other one is the... Cellular. Right. Thanks. And so uh, whichever you may be dominant in, you need to support the other side or else you end up with an imbalance. And there are illnesses that are indeed associated with dominance of, of either one or the other. Right. And not only do you want a balance of them, but I think you want them both pretty low. Because the lower your globulins, the higher your albumin. The higher your albumin, the longer your the longer the lifespan. The uh, I mean albumin is the is one of the keys to uh, intelligence and health through life. So I don't I not only want to balance the Th1, Th2. So Th1 is what goes after things like intracellular parasites and cancer and natural killer cells are part of that. And T, someone who, but too much Th1 is uh, autoimmune, right? Like Hashimoto's. Uh, Th2 is like um, sinus stuff, it's allergies. Um, so a little bit of it protects you from ex, you know, breathing in stuff that can get in, but too much makes a person hyperallergenic. And so not only do I want a balance of them, but I want them both as low as possible and still maintaining health so that my globulins are down, which brings my albumin up. And uh, one of the kind of um, quick ways that I check TH1, TH2 with clients is I'll put a ultrasound transducer on the thyroid and I'll kind of get a rough sense of how vascular it is. Um, you know, the body should be going into tissue to monitor and kill things, uh, cancers, and clean out that tissue. If I see no vascularity in the thyroid, some people say, oh, great, no Hashimoto's. I'm thinking, well, yeah, but maybe it's the TH2 dominance, right? And if I see a lot of vascularity, well, that's also a problem. So I want the right amount of vascularity. Um, you know, uh, TH1, TH2 is modulated by sunshine. So uh, the other day I saw some, you know, these two young girls, uh, they're twins, and they both had lots of, lots of vascularity in the thyroid. I'm thinking, oh, great, you know, this is, you know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not making a diagnosis, but is that Hashimoto's? And then I remember looking at their skin, they were pale, and I'm like, you know, I spoke to the, I, I left a message for the dad, I'm like, you know, you might want to have your kids get a little more sun, and here's why. So, you know, it's, it's great to be able to uh, find the, the, the lifestyle changes for someone that can shift them into a, a better long-term life. Because if these kids don't change, you know, what's going to happen to their thyroid in another five, ten years? Okay, so we have lion's mane. And uh, the third thing? Uh, a little bit of turmeric. Just to... Okay. And that's uh, it. Yeah, yeah. That's, well, I want... You know, mostly what I'm looking for is the nervonic acid. The lion's mane I'm doing to kind of uh, for the uh, the nerve growth stim uh, nerve growth stimulation, yep. and and, um, and but then the turmeric to balance out the right. I know, of course, turmeric on its own is a fantastic antioxidant and has benefits galore, so. but not for someone with a Th2 dominance. Right. Yeah, you're amplifying the problem. Right. I mean, I I was so. I was so bummed when I realized I can't juice turmeric anymore because I'm TH2 dominant. So, ah. Not for me. I'm sorry. No, no, fine. You know, it's okay. Mushrooms, you know, for me, it's more, you know, med, um, vitamin E is, uh, is my friend. That's the, T, that's the one that boosts TH1. Great. Okay. Anything else you want to add uh, about the Nervidine before? You know, what I would say is um, we really don't have the clinical experience to know how it's going to pan out. Um, but if you're going to get Nervidine, to be fair, maybe get at least three bottles of it because you know nerves are slow. They take time. Right. And then make your judgment on whether you were right. getting the results you were, want, you were hoping for. Okay. And the dosage, would it vary or is it pretty much the same for everyone? 
Well, you know, I mean, by body weight, I, I make all of the, the uh, sort of serving sizes based on a 150 pound person and say if you are more or less, you know. Take more, take less as, as you wish, yeah. Yeah. It's not toxic really at any level, is it? Well, I, I, you know, so um, uh, I took an enormous amount when I first made it just to find out. You know, of course I looked up the LD50s and all those things, but then I wanted a real world experience. So I took maybe a one or two month dose at one shot just to see what would happen. Mm -hmm. I got a little punch drunk. You know, I felt a, a little, little, little altered. It wasn't uncomfortable. Um, and you know, after 10 or 15 minutes, it passed. But let me tell you what happened. Um, a couple of days later, I realized that the peripheral neuropathy that I'd given myself from eating so much fruit when I was younger had gone away. So fantastic. So there is a um, case to be made for shock treatment. You know, uh, there may be. Um, the peripheral neuropathy had, has come back a little bit, but it has never been, it, it's never, got, after that one time, it's never been as bad as it once was. It doesn't hurt to walk on carpets. I don't get pins and needles. I, I don't mind getting a foot rub. And all these things may not make sense to you, but if someone has peripheral neuropathy, they'll understand what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the nerves. Um, they have calmed down. Yeah, what, they, what happens with peripheral neuropathy is the nerves interpret normal touch as pain. Right, right. Yeah. So yeah, I was thrilled to be able to get a foot rub again. And uh, you know, maybe, you know, so yeah. Awesome. Okay, so this is Nervidine. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Spencer Feldman. This is Martin Patella, Life Enthusiast, www.life-enthusiast.com. Call at 866-543-3388. We are restoring vitality to you and to the planet. Thank you.